Today's video is going to be kind of like a day in the life, but more like a few days in the life. And I guess I should, I guess I should say a couple. Hmm, I should film while Nick is at work. Nick is my husband. Nick is a firefighter paramedic. So if you are um, dating or married to a first responder, you know very well how it goes when they are gone for multiple days on end. Or if you're a military wife, um, can't forget you guys, you guys seriously go through it, like being alone for weeks on end. Like I shouldn't laugh, but I'm just like, holy shit, that's so much work. So um, that might be a little fun to take you um, along the journey the next uh, couple days. Nick um, is gone for a total of three days unless he gets forced for a forced for a fourth day at the end of this. So we'll see how we do. Um, but yeah, I am not a single mom, but a solo mom. So I just like never imagined quite how difficult it could be to be with a newborn all day and all night for like three, four days straight. It is hard. Um, so if you can relate to this is if this is um, your life, if you, I mean, I've heard from so many of you on our Facebook mom group that um, you are alone for weeks on end and sometimes even months if your husband is deployed. I applaud you. You are amazing. You are doing great. Um, and if you do need a little bit of support, I did create a Facebook group. It's called Real Moms Club. I will link it in the description box below, but it is just a no shaming mom group. It literally takes a village and we are that village. There's no shaming allowed. There's no condescending tones. That's not what we do there. So um, if you wanna join us, then check it out. But let's go ahead and get started. Roll the clip for tomorrow. This little one was just bouncing herself in here. Show sure, everyone how you bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> I think we're gonna go see, my hair is like, um, I think we're gonna go see dad at the station today. So I am taking this opportunity while she's not crying to make breakfast. She's been really good this morning actually. So. We're gonna do a little bit of turkey bacon and some eggs and sit down and watch this new show I just turned on called Virgin River. And if you've ever seen Heart of Dixie, I have too, I loved that show. And I thought I was losing my mind because I was watching it and I'm like, every little thing that kept happening, I'm like, okay, this is literally Heart of Dixie, but it is based off the same book and they just, made a little more serious, I guess, but it's still funny. So I'm like pretty excited about it because I loved Heart of Dixie. It's just one of those really good, like feel good TV shows. And I loved watching that show. I almost considered watching it twice and I'm not somebody who reads a book twice or watches something twice, except unless like it's a movie or something. But um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on it.
her down for a nap. I've got my monitor. I'm going to go down my list now and get everything done. <clears throat> well, as well as I can anyway. We're gonna start with the animals because they are top priority besides me and Harlita Panchita. all ready to go see dad and guess what this is a first for Harlow but she's wearing shoes how cute are those she literally hardly um, like she almost like doesn't fit in the shoes so <laughs> I'm glad I got them on her feet but they look so cute are you ready to go see daddy huh we gotta run by Vaughn's to pick up some some stuff for the boys to make dinner tonight and then um, we're dropping by CVS to grab some pictures we had printed. And then we're gonna go see Daddy. Huh, are you excited? I just pre-started the car with my Ford app on my phone. So it'll be nice and cool by the time I get this little nugget in there. Huh, you gonna bring your panda? Yeah? I cannot deal with how cute the little shoes are. They so cute. Daddy gonna love them. Time to grab her diaper bag and all of that and literally the only reason I put this makeup on is to look cute for my husband So hopefully he likes it. Usually he likes like motorcycle makeup is what he calls it. It's like only Like lips like maybe some lips and mascara, but I feel pretty like this. So I think he'll appreciate that
Got the baby monitor. Gonna head outside to the garden for a minute. Oh, I gotta get my garden shears before it gets too dark outside. lashes somewhere and I don't really know where I put them. <laughs> um, I was going to take Harlow outside tonight and hang out, but I think the mosquitoes are probably out right now. Oh, she's rolling over already. You did it! Good job! I, how did you roll over that fast? I left you for like two seconds, girl. <laughs> so the last couple days alone has been really challenging because um, I, hey, Piper, Piper, that's enough licking, sweetie. That's enough. Um, I The other day, I ripped my pinky nail off right here, and that's why there's blood around it. And I've been wearing a Band-Aid on it because when I did it, it started bleeding, and I was like, oh, shit. I had no idea how bad it was, and I started lifting the nail, and it started lifting all the way up back to the cuticle. And so I was like, okay, stop, 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 stop. And I put a bandaid on it. And it is so hard to take care of a baby with one of your nails that could just fly off at any moment. And it's super painful. So it's been, I've, it's been really challenging, like picking her up, putting like, uh, like her, like just her clothes on, like her diaper on. Like, so I, I'm like, I want to do all this stuff with her, but I'm really trying to like nurse my finger. So, um, this fly, you can't see it, but it's been harassing me all day. So yes, um, wish me luck on my nail. I think it's RIP to my nail. I think it's just waiting to fall off, unfortunately, but thank goodness it wasn't like my pointer finger or something. At least it was my pinky. I do not know what I want to make for dinner. I have a tendency to just like snack on random things and like make a plate of the most random stuff ever. So I might just be doing that tonight, but I was thinking I need to plan meals for when Nick is back home because I know that he likes dinner early and I need to kind of figure out, um, she is doing so good lifting her head up. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna go help her with that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna probably plan some dinners um, for when Nick gets off. He's not off tomorrow, but he's off the next day. Tomorrow will be day three of being solo, even though I only showed you guys uh, today and tomorrow. But yeah, okay, Harlow needs me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> Is that silly? <laughs> 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 